As a geologist, it was the most fascinating time for me to observe what is happening to the Reckoners Peninsula over the past few years. We had first the Fegre in 2021, and this was something like this, erupting at the same time forming a huge crater. Then second came the Meradere volcano, again gone mad this one, smaller but active, and it spread a lot of lava. Then came the Little Hotro, the earth is split like a zipper from the south to the north and this one was very active although smaller than the Fagadesville but bigger than Meridale. Then we had the Sondunka in the uh, uh, Swartzeng area it was huge compared to Fagadesville in a way then we have this Hagofell Grindavik eruption it cut through the wall that we built to protect the town uh, from the lava it didn't work in that sense but it worked in many other ways and now we are having uh, magma rising again. This is the chart shows the earthquakes. The ones that we have from the Grindavik, this fifth one, is the one you can see here, rising to the surface already. And already one is preparing to come near the harbor, and I believe it will probably erupt around the uh, sports center. Also probably even into the harbor and into the sea. This is something to watch. That will be amazing. Uh, the land rise from the Sundunka was gentle. For the Hagofel was even more gentler. But this one is going to be sooner. The slope shows that it's already steeping upward very quick. Before the end of the January, we will have an eruption there. At the most, I think it's probably early days of the February. And this is the prediction that I will put on this. As a geologist, let's see how it is. But at the moment, if it continues like that, we will have eruption by the end of the January. And this is the way that all this like a zipper from south to north and then from north to south are opening up in this area of the Reckoners. The old crack near the sports center and roundabout is one of the likely locations that we will have eruption there. The magma will ooze out. It's already the crack there. The weakness is there. And this is where actually we had part of the magma which is a gaseous part of it, in the November 11th came in, uh, coming out, as you can see here. And this created a lot of damage. The damage this time will be inside the town and probably into the sea. This is something to watch. And I think that uh, you have to watch the video that I have about the futility of uh, actually trying to rebuild the Grindavik. The fragile cannot be saved. Grindavik has experienced the most astounding earthquakes we have seen so far in Iceland. A swarm of earthquakes split the town. Cracks appeared, some of them three kilometers long. We are not trying to fill them up, but it's futile, I believe, because these cracks are not the cracks just created by the landslides, subsidence, things like that. This is land rising, falling down, and then rising back. This is tectonism. Mid-Atlantic ridge here is opening up. We are creating earth, new ground, by the magma rising to the surface. And in the process, these cracks will widen up and make pathway for the molten rock to come up. This is... A rift valley situation where we have a rift opening up the middle part falling both sides are rising this is what we see in Grindavik this is historically what we see there is a reason that there is a port there a shallow water safe enough for the ship to anchor there there is a reason the two sides of it are higher than the middle part where the port is and that is the process that has started not now, not this year, decades ago, probably millions of years ago. And nothing can fill up that crack. Otherwise, Grindavik will not exist. That port is there because this crack was created. And it is not going to be stopped. Nothing can fill it. It's futile saving Grindavik.